Hey y'all. Okay, uh, this article was sent to me and it was published on February 17th, 2018. It just, this article has just got me just sick feeling. Um, it really just disgusts me on how heartless people can be, especially when it comes to children. Okay, uh, it says, bodies of newborn babies found in suitcase, authorities say. This happened in Wynn, Arkansas. Authorities say the bodies of two newborn babies have been found in a suitcase along a road in northeast Arkansas. The infants appear to be twins. The Cross County Sheriff's Office says the bodies were discovered Friday afternoon in a purple suitcase which was on a ditch bank along the county road. Officials say the investigation is ongoing and they are asking the public for any information regarding the identity of the infants or a suspect. The sheriff's office said the bodies are being sent to the state crime lab for autopsies, which should help investigators determine how the infants died and when. It's still not clear if they died before or after they were placed in the suitcase. Nichols told WREG his office has identified several persons of interest but did not elaborate. News of the discovery struck a nerve with those who live in the area. When I left work this morning, I was shaken up like I was in tears, Santia Wallace told WREG. Here I am, want to have kids, and for you to, like, kill them. Like, who does that? You could have took him to the fire station, you know? Something like that. You don't have to kill no kids. It's hard to comprehend. I mean, I wouldn't know why anyone would abandon two little babies like that, Walter Hill said. Okay, I'm going to play this video. Without the glare of headlights, this road is pitch black. The perfect cover. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. For a heartless crime, two newborns dead, stopped inside a purple suitcase and abandoned near a ditch along County Road 602. When I left work this evening, I was shaking up like I was in tears. Cynthia Wallace, still in motion, just hours after a passerby noticed the suitcase and alerted authority. Here I am on half kids. And for you to, like, kill him? Like, who does that? That's what the Cross County Sheriff wants to know. Who the babies belong to and who left them here. It's hard to comprehend. I mean, I wouldn't know why anybody would, you know, abandon two little babies like that. Investigators confirm they've already developed several persons of interest, but it's far too soon to know where that will lead. Both tiny little bodies have been sent to the state crime lab for autopsies. That will hopefully answer how and when they die. Only one person can answer why. You can send to the fire station. You know, something like that. You don't have to kill no kids. In Cross County, Luke Jones, WREG News Channel 3. ATT. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. You know, I mean. There are things that you can do if you do not want to keep your kids. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know every state is different, but as far as I know it, I believe it's, you know, across the country, um, countrywide that, you know, if you have a baby and, you know, rather than throwing it in a dumpster or in a suitcase, for God's sakes, on the side of a road, you know, most hospitals, you know, they have it now where you can drop your baby off at the hospital, no questions asked or whatever. Okay, um, I mean, not that I agree with that, you know, but I'd, I'd rather see a baby get dropped off at a hospital, um, you know, and be adopted out to where at least someone is, you know, taking care of the baby and loving the baby and all of that rather than the child getting just dropped off somewhere you know I mean when a woman becomes pregnant I mean you do have options and 
to be honest with you, I mean, any options that you are entitled to is better than giving birth to a baby and just abandoning it. Um, it just, it, it pisses me off, you know, because like this lady said, you know, there's people out here that do that, but then like her, like she wants to have kids, you know, I have four kids. I can't imagine doing anything of this nature. It's, it's crazy. And it is so sad. It's absolutely terrible. And these poor little babies. You know, I just, um, damn, it's, it's really, really sad. So, I don't know. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what y'all think. And if y'all need to send me anything, feel free to do so in my email. And uh, if you need to send it to me on Facebook, you can do that also. And I'm sorry uh, if I have not gotten to um, any emails lately. I've been a little bit behind on things. Uh, just to let y'all know, my, my little dog, um, he's been sick the last few days. And he actually passed away to, um, today. He had a heart attack. So if y'all can, please please send prayers my way I'm not really taking it that good and it was really my daughter's dog but we've had him for five years and I don't know I just ask for prayers you know for you know for comfort over here because you know it's it's, it's really sad and you know my heart is broken and it, it breaks my heart more when I see my kids hurting, you know, and I still have to break the news uh, tomorrow to my little one who doesn't know yet. He's not home right now, so when he comes home tomorrow, I have to let him know what happened. But just keep me in your prayers, y'all, and I love all y'all, and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, you have a good night. All my links are down below and my email address is down below also. Thank you. Have a wonderful night.